Welcome to Cos Karen's. Y'all have been asking for it and mama has to deliver. Y'all want to see how my bathroom fixtures are holding up after six months. Yes, y'all have been super patient and don't mind me. I just have a little toilet paper in my, my bedroom. It's hanging out on my husband's dresser. Yes, because we were just cleaning the bathroom. So we were not going to show you this video with a dirty tub. <laughs> so listen, before I show you my fixtures, I just want to say thank you uh, for being patient with me, guys. I had some tech issues in February. My computer uh, just, just messed up, y'all. The screen went completely black. And then I ordered my screen. And y'all, my screen ended up in Texas. And y'all know... Thank you for saying hi. Y'all know what happened in Texas in February. My screen got stuck there for like two weeks and I'm just getting back into the swing of things. But without further ado, y'all, and don't mind my office. My office is a mess. We in cleaning mode right now. We in cleaning mode, okay? Yeah, yeah guys. And, and also, um, um, it wasn't me who broke mommy's computer. Um, when, when, when I was standing up with the massager in my hand, Daddy pushed me yeah. right in the computer. My husband pushed her. She fell back onto my computer screen while I was working. Cracked the screen and blah, blah, blah. That's what happened. But y'all not here for that story. Y'all want to know how these fixtures are holding up. So let's just do the reveal, y'all. Here we go. All right. All right, so we're in the bathroom, okay? So it's been six months. So we're just going to start from the top. As you can see, we do have some scratching going on on the bottom and a little bit of scratching up on the top. Okay, so the scratching is from this constantly moving back and forth. So like the whole top, like it's gone, okay? I was expecting that, I really was. I was expecting these scratches, okay? So that is the, what do we call this, right? Curtain rod? I was gonna say railing, curtain rod. So there you can see it a little bit better, okay? Um, this end, this little cap is not too bad, but yes. Uh, the curtain constantly going back and forth has scratched the rod uh, quite a bit. Okay, moving down to this thing this holder i just wasn't trying to remove it because what's the point so i just painted it um i was pleasantly surprised with how the paint um has held up on this i have had zero issues this is like a kind of vinyl and it stuck pretty well so i mean there's a little bit of scratching but i was pretty pleasantly surprised with this one okay all right like I said I was in cleaning mode y'all so everything is in here all right so now here we go let's start at the top so yes there's a little bit of wear and tear um, every time we move that shower head you get the, the scratches right uh, here there is some water that does drip here and it did pull the paint a little bit. And you just noticed, I just totally missed this whole like center part because um, I didn't do a good 360 spray when I initially did this. So that's just, you know, what's going on there. Okay, so here's the, the sprayer. So you notice, uh, there is wear and tear going on there. There's wear and tear going on there from the scratching of, you know, us moving it and in, into like position and whatnot. Then here, there's a little bit of wear and tear from the water coming out. And I, kinda, I sprayed everything and I was like, oh my God, am I going to clog? the little openings but it didn't clog at all it actually worked very well but as you can see over time the paint did start coming off let's work our way down y'all i know you guys are like oh my god just wait for it 
uh, here. Okay. So this uh, hasn't had that much wear and tear, but it has had wear and tear. Uh, a few little scratches here and there. Nothing major. I mean, that's because when I painted it, I didn't open it. Okay, I got some water spots on it. It is what it is. So now down here, don't get nervous. You're like, oh my God. The reason why it looks like this is because I'm actually taking it off. Yeah, I mean, it takes a lot for me to scratch it off. It doesn't come off easily. Um, but you notice there is wear and tear around the edge here. This is me actually like scraping it off. So you can see it comes off like that. I have to actually like really scrape for it to come off. Um, down here, same thing. I am scraping it off. And then down here, that literally just came off on day one. And I'll tell you why this whole bottom came off on day one because I did this when the contractors were working and they were actually dumping the plaster down this drain. I know, right? So the big plaster chunks actually just took the paint right off. So that that's where they're at six months post. So my thoughts, y'all. I'm cute. Do you see me? I really am. Subscribe, okay? So what are my thoughts? Um, was it an easy DIY? No. <laughs> It was not. Y'all saw how stressed I was in the original video. Um, but it could have been easier had I prepped a little bit better. Um, the way that I covered the walls was terrible. I used like uh, circulars. <laughs> I would definitely invest in like legit drop cloth or that like big roll of brown paper that they'd be selling in like Home Depot and Lowe's that you could just put onto the walls. That might be easier. To avoid the amount of chipping that um, I have, I probably would have done a better job at prepping. What do I mean? In the original video, I, I don't think I mentioned it, but I did mention it um, to people that asked. I put it in the comments. I try to uh, respond to everybody. Y'all, all I did was clean the fixtures. I didn't do anything else. I did not prime them. I did not, well, let's do it in order. I did not sand them. I did not prime them um i did not like them green eggs and ham sam i am no i was kidding <laughs> no i didn't sand them i didn't prime them all i did was clean them and then put the spray paint on so and then i didn't seal it with like a top coat did not do that um do i plan on doing this again yeah i do because right now i'm not going to invest any money in buying new fixtures because eventually this bath fitter is going and this bathroom is going to get gutted and I'm going to get me a nice bathroom. But in the meantime, y'all, um, we're just going to get the spray paint again. Now that springtime, you know, is like here and I can work outside and I can open the windows and not be freezing while I'm working. Um, I am going to resand uh, the fixtures and prime and paint them again. Would I recommend you do this? If you could save the money and buy black hardware, buy them. <laughs> Just putting it out there, okay? And guys. Okay, down. Guys. Uh, yeah, just, I don't know. <laughs> when I got this bathroom, I'm buying black hardware. I'm not fixtures. I'm not going to spray paint this again. I'm only spray painting now because I just want to use what I have and I really wanted black, you know, so it is what it is, but that, that's it. You know, that's the six month update on my bathroom fixtures. Uh, thank you so much to all of you that watched, to all of you that gave me those views and never, ever, ever, ever in the history of my life as a YouTuber has one of my videos received so many views in such a short amount of time. So from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for hanging out on Casa Karen's. Thank you for checking out how this new first time homeowner is trying to upgrade her home without having any experience <laughs> to do any of these projects. But hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment below, tell me what you think. Would you 
paint your bath fixtures um, now that you've seen the six month update in my house? I'm curious to hear your thoughts or would you just say, let me just save my money and buy new fixtures and get a plumber to put them in. I don't know. I'm curious to hear what you what you think. And if you think I'm cute, tell me I'm cute because <laughs> I love hearing those things. Bye. Okay, guys. All right. My co-host wants to say something. What do you want to say, co-host? Um, um, actually, um, Mommy got me these new masks. I did. And, and, and it was one of my class. And it was one of my classmates' birthday. It name, was. Named Alexandro. Well, and don't he, tell them people's names on this. This is, you can't give away identity. <laughs> and, and he turned five years old just five like years me. Old. I'm okay. five years old. All right, guys. You know the deal. Hit subscribe, hit like, comment below, share, do all those wonderful YouTube things that y'all know how to do. And I will see you next week on Cosmic Parents. And, Peace and, out. And she just wants to talk. And, and yes, and. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss every of our vlogs. Yes, don't and, miss any and, of our vlogs. And, oh, and, and Cosmic Karen vlogs. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.